My name is Akshay Joshi and I am working for the CTO team at Enterprise DB. In this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to use PG Admin 4 and PSQL with Big Animal. For that, we need to create a cluster in Big Animal. Let's see how to create it. To create a cluster, there is a prerequisite. You must have a Big Animal account in which the administrator has assigned you the appropriate roles to create new database clusters. Here are the steps that needs to be performed. Open your browser and enter https colon slash slash portal.edbcloud.com. Click on the continue with Microsoft Azure AD button. Login using your Azure account credentials. On a successful login, you will see the big animal overview page. To create a new cluster, click on the create new cluster button. So let's see how we can do that. I have already opened portal.edbcloud.com. I will click on continue with Microsoft Azure AD button. I will have to provide my credentials here. I will have to provide the password. On a successful login, it will redirect to the big animals overview page. Here is the big animals overview page. Now to create a cluster, you need to click on this button, create new cluster. Provide the cluster name here. I am providing PG admin 4 big animal demo. Provide the password which must be at least 12 characters. Once password is provided, go to the operational settings. Here are database types you can select. So there are two types of databases uh, that Big Animal supports. One is EDB Postgres Advanced Server. Another one is Postgres SQL. So I am selecting Postgres SQL here. From this drop down, you can select the version. So I am selecting version 13. From the next section, you can select the region where you want to deploy your cluster. So I am selecting US Central US. Next section is instance type where you can select your instance type. So I am selecting the basic instance type E2S V3, which is having two CPU and 16 GB memory. From the storage, I select the basic storage, which is of P1. And the next setting is networking. This setting is very important because to connect PG admin 4 and PSQL, we need a public network. So we have to select the net networking as a public. Go to the DB configuration. There are so many configuration parameter for the database server. You can select or set any of the parameter of your choice. I am skipping this section. Next is the high availability. So here is the high availability where high availability clusters are configured with one primary and two replicas with a synchronous streaming replication. I am disabling it at the moment and to create a cluster, just click on the create cluster button and cluster creation will take time. So I have already created my cluster for the demo purpose. Go to the clusters. Filter out the cluster from here. I have selected the Postgres SQL as I have created Postgres SQL 13. So let's filter out the cluster here. And if you can see that PG admin 4 big animal demo I have already created. Once your cluster is created, Select that cluster. So here are the psql command where uh, you can copy and paste as it is. So let's copy this command. Open the psql from the command prompt. If your psql is already present in the path, then you can run the psql from anywhere. And if it is not in your path, go to the appropriate folder where psql resides. So here in my case, uh, psql is not in the path. So I have uh, selected the folder slash library postgres sql slash 13 slash bin paste the command that you have copied enter the password
and here you go database cluster is connected using psql you can run the query of your choice So this is how we can access the database server deployed on a big animal using psql. Now let's see how to use pgadmin4 with big animal. For that I have already installed pgadmin 4's latest version 6.1. Right click on a server, server group, select create server option. Here is the server creation dialog. To create a server we need a connection information. So let's provide the server name first. I am selecting PG13 big animal. Go to the connection tab. Here we need the information like host name, port, maintenance database, username, and password. So for this connection information, again go back to the portal.edbcloud.com where you have already selected your cluster. Select the connect tab. Here you can find the connection information, host, database name, port, and username. Copy the host name, paste it here. Port is already 5432, and database name and username is edb underscore admin. So provide the maintenance database here, provide the username, provide the password to connect to that database. Click on the save button. And here you go. So server is added to the PG admin 4. Expand the server node. Expand the databases. Here you can see two databases edb underscore admin and postgres. Expand the database node. Here you can see the objects of the database node like event triggers extension, foreign data wrappers. Expand the schemas node. You see the public schema which is a default schema. From here you can create any of the node of your choice like you can create the table, you can create trigger functions, procedures, functions and views. Here are the nice little dashboard which provide the graph of database sessions, transaction per second, tuples in, tuples out, block IO. Select the server here in the server activity you can see all the queries running. And the queries which are uh, highlighted as a red is running from the long time. PG Admin 4 also provided a very good tool, is a query tool. Select the database, click on the query tool button. Query tool is open now. From here, you can run the query of your choice. This is just like you are running a query in psql on command prompt. Are from PG state activity. So, this is the result from the PG state activity table. PG admin 4 also provided a very good tool of a psql tool, which is similar to the psql running from the command prompt. So, select the database, click on the psql tool here. This is as good as you are running the psql from the command prompt. This is the same tool we have implemented in pgadmin4. Run the query from here again. So this is how psql and pgadmin4 works with a big animal where you can create your cluster, deploy your cluster on a big animal and connect using pgadmin4 and psql. Thank you very much.